Uh, I've not given you an action for it. This one is infinitely simpler than using the mixer brush. So we'll just walk through the steps on it and it actually is good just so you get in that habit of understanding what's going on rather than relying on my actions. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna use what would be the paper for that, my watercolor paper that I'm gonna paint on. In this case, I am gonna use a watercolor paper texture even though I may print it out on watercolor paper. Let's say that this is gonna be a greeting card. So it's not gonna go on watercolor paper, it's gonna go on a traditional coated stock offset lithography printed out by the zillions. I'll retire on this image and be in Tahiti before you know it. Mm -hmm. Come down here to my little um, chocolate dipped cookie icon, go down to pattern. You've already loaded in all my patterns. You'll see that all the pattern libraries are shared including we'll now find our flower here. I'm now gonna go to my watercolor paper I've got two versions of it, white and gray. The white is obviously gonna be the background and the gray, as you now know, because it's 50% gray, will be used as a uh, textured patina, an overlay when we're done. But for right now, this has got the watercolor texture in it, which I think you can, if I move it around, you can see there's a subtle texture in there. Okay, so we'll leave that because it's a watercolor. Okay, so far so good. I'm now gonna create another layer for to actually put the paint on. By the way, speaking of shortcuts, my when I clicked on that icon, it came up with a new layer dialog box, which lets me name it, color it, change its blend mode, set its opacity, do all sorts of cool stuff. When you click on the icon, you don't get that. Why? Because I use the secret Mickey Mouse key of holding down the Option key or Alt key on the PC when I created it. So if you want to streamline the process, holding down Option or Alt when you create it will automatically, for all layers, ask you what would you like to name it, what blending mode, what opacity would you like. And in this case, I'm going to come up here, we'll say Paint. I can take that opacity down a little bit, even at this point, because that's going to, um, no, actually for that one I won't. When I created this pattern fill lay layer at that point, I could bring down the opacity just so I can see that the um, flower before. So I'm ready to go. I don't, there's no special secret to these layers like there is with a mixer brush. They're just good old fashioned layers. There's nothing secret. The secret is that I put the photograph into the brush because I turned it into a pattern and I told the pattern stamp to use that. When, whenever we use my brushes, one of the settings that's turned on as part of this, as we mentioned, first day and yesterday, the impressionist setting. That's the cool groovy thing about the um, pattern stamp is it has the impressionist setting. The original is there. I'm not actually gonna use it. I'm just using it to trace with. I could actually throw it away. I don't need it. The pattern, I'm gonna make it semi-transparent so I can see through it so I can trace. There's my paint, my pattern stamp. Come up here. I'm gonna go to watercolor large. That presupposes You've already come up here and loaded in the How to Wow uh, tool preset sampler or the, um, it's probably named that out of that sampler. If you do, I had mentioned before, the one product I do sell on my own is my One Click Wow presets. Those are available at um, wowcreativearts.com and that has my entire library of all my tool presets. Shapes, patterns, art history, crop, image fix brushes, marquee tool options, and um, 900 other presets, patterns, actions, layer styles, etc. Okay, so uh, this is a high res file, so I'm actually going to um, increase the size of my brush a little bit using that square bracket keys. Let's turn off our green arrow, our green circle, and I'm going to come up here and just as we mentioned before, I'm going to paint in washes. So I'm going to come up here and do an area, and I'm not gonna let them touch. I could, someone brought up the idea, couldn't you just do them on separate layers and there, therefore they could touch? Yeah, you certainly could. 